Good afternoon everybody from the C Tran bus terminal in Suratani town. The reason that we are here is because today or in about 20 minutes time we are going to be traveling to the island of Koh Samui. I have never been to Koh Samui before. I've been to a couple of the other islands nearby, Koh Kanyang, Koh Tao. Never been to Koh Samui. I'm so, so, so excited. By the way, hi, my name's Christian and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I'm traveling in Thailand with my boyfriend, Jeremy. You can catch up on the previous Thailand vlogs on my channel if you haven't already. But without further ado, we are about to catch this van to the ferry port. We booked our tickets online beforehand using the website 12 Go Asia. We've actually used that a couple of times now with success. And the tickets were 385 baht each. That is for the transfer from the town to the ferry port and then the ferry itself um, from Suratani to Koh Samui. Here it is. What we're looking at here is the island of Koh Samui. You say this is the, the chili pears? Chili paste. Chili paste in there. We call pick a pea in Thai. Pick a pea. Yeah. So there's this pick a pea chili paste inside <laughs> the coconut, and it is quite spicy. And you eat it with uh, cucumber, which I need a lot of because otherwise it's too spicy for me. Mm. Really, really tasty though. <laughs> Here we've got some squid in curry, which is something that you can only yeah, find here in Samui. What do you call it? Waikua. Waikua. And then here we've got some more squid. Here we have a papaya salad. And here we've just got some fried rice. Fried rice. Nice. It looks delicious. Good afternoon everybody from Koh Samui. We arrived on the island last night but it was dark so I didn't want to give you a tour of where we were but I'm so excited to give you a tour now because it's freaking amazing. Here on Koh Samui we are staying at Lubdi Hostel, Lubdi Accommodation. It's located on Chaweng Beach which is basically the most popular beach here in Koh Samui, but there is so many beaches around. But without further ado, let me give you a tour of this accommodation because it's, it's truly sensational. Welcome to the start of your next adventure. This place is actually huge. I think they told us that there is 120 rooms, over 120 rooms, and they're in three different buildings. So this is the first building. Building two. And building three, and this is where the reception is. Hello. So our room is in this building here, which I'll show you in a little bit. But now let's go out to the main chill out area, which is probably the best of some accommodation I've ever, ever stayed in communal bathrooms and showers here. They have not one, but two pools in this accommodation. You've got the day pool, which is just good to chill out by the day. They've got these beautiful, beautiful cabanas. The breakfast area. You've even got a swim up bar at this pool as well, which is so cool. And then you come through to the infinity pool, which just happens to be right on the beach. The location of this hostel is just insane. You can chill out on these bean bags right on the beachfront. Right now in this season, it's fairly high tide, which is super nice because it means that the water is literally coming right underneath you when you're staying on these hammocks of some description. But you can chill out here with a cocktail. You can have your breakfast out here. You can chill in the pool. And here you have the bar. Sawadika. International Shoes Challenge. I bet you Jeremy would be good at that whenever that's on. Free beach towels to use. And then just casually a full on games room. We've got a pool table, we've got air hockey, I think that is. Just general bar vibes. 
and it's so, so, so beautiful. I know that we're gonna be taking so many beautiful pictures here. I also want to give you a little tour of our room, which is amazing, and a few of the different accommodation types that they have here. It doesn't even feel like a hostel at all because it's so nice and there's so many things that are included. The staff are super, super friendly. But yeah, let's show you up to the room right now. We're gonna start with the most amazing rooms here, which are the double rooms with a sea view. We're staying in one of these rooms. I didn't want to show you ours because we've made it a bit messy. Look at that view. You just wake up in the morning, the sun is shining, you have a view of the whole hostel area and of course the beautiful, beautiful sea. There's a nice little um, seating area on the balcony as well. The beds are ridiculously comfy, like a really nice super king size. Literally not what you would expect in a hostel at all. So, so nice. You have a mini fridge here, tea and coffee station, wardrobe area, and then in the bathroom, the shower was honestly one of the best showers I've ever had. You can choose between having the rainfall or the standard shower, and it was just incredible. Great water pressure, hot water. It feels like a true like luxury hotel, except you've got the amazing vibe as well. You also have the double rooms, which have a city view as well. There is, of course, dorm accommodation here as well. This is one of the hostel dorm rooms that they've let me have access to to show you. And it is so, so nice. Look at this. If you're staying on a top bunk, no annoying ladders, you have a full, set of stairs to get up to your bunk. I think this almost makes the top bunks more appealing than the bottom bunks. Let me know in the comments whether with this access, would you prefer a top or a bottom bunk? But each bed has its own curtain. You have a towel included for bathing. There's also, like I showed you, free beach towels. You also have your own little mirror, your own little shelf. There is a plug socket here and a USB socket and you have your own little light in here as well. This is like the epitome of dorm rooms, isn't it? It just has everything that you could possibly need, including, which I haven't showed you yet, there's a large locker here for every bed. You even have hangers to hang up your own things, a big space to put your backpack down there and then you can just lock your things away. The quality of everything is just insane. Oh, and a, a large four length mirror, of course. And I know this is a little bit strange, but I wanted to see what the bathrooms look like as well. And I am not disappointed. <laughs> look how beautiful the decoration is of the sinks and the mirrors. And then look at the shower. How beautiful is this? And exactly the same showers as what you get in the private room as well. You have the rainfall shower and the regular one. So it really is a luxurious experience for backpackers. And the final style of room in Lub D is a family bedroom. I've got no idea what this is going to look like. Oh, cute. So similar to the double bedroom, except as well as a big double bed, you have some bunk beds for mum and dad as well. No, not for mum and dad. <laughs> Probably the bunk beds for the kids. I mean, you could stick mum and dad in the bunk beds and then have the kids in the double bed. That would be very luxurious for the kids. This is lovely. I just love the interior design of this place. Like, all the murals on the wall are so, so, so stunning. Nice desk area as well. Nice big TV and a beautiful view of the mountains from this room as well. We really, really got to do some laundry and they have these washing machines at the hostel in the second building. They offer this laundry detergent, which is 20 baht, and then how much is it? 40 baht to do your washing? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> these, are, these are the hardest struggles of uh, being a backpacker, figuring out how different washing facilities work. <laughs> Why are you making jokes? I'm assuming that that's taking care of itself. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to come back to the washing machine in one hour, and then I guess we'll try and figure out the dryer. But in the meantime, I very much would like a cocktail. I had a slight change of mind when coming to the sunbathing area on the beach, and I got myself a coconut, a fresh coconut. 
Oh, it's so good. It's chilled as well. And how good is this? They've got the Cosimo e Lobdi stamp on it. This is the dream. This is the dream, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it's happening. I'm going in. <laughs> what a view to wake up to in the morning just laying out on the bed everything i think we need like beach towel sunglasses our entrance back into our room mask snacks money tic tacs gopro bug spray sun cream and a cap Will I need anything else? I'm not so sure. We're having our breakfast quite early this morning because we are heading on an excursion to Pig Island with Gojo Tours. And honestly, I don't know much of what's gonna happen today other than I know there's gonna be some pigs and I know there's gonna be a lot of island hopping, which I'm so excited for. I have not done island hopping in God knows how long, let alone in Thailand. I know it's gonna be good. So we're fueling up with the included hostel breakfast, which is absolutely amazing. Even including, you can just get a normal coffee, but I've got a latte, so I'm feeling very, very swish. We're just getting on the boat now. We are going with a company called Gojo Tours and I think Love D own this business. I think there's like eight of us, which is so, so nice. It's gonna be nice to socialize with some new people. Um, if you don't know, this is such a good way to meet new people when you're traveling, especially if you're traveling solo. arrived on pig island currently can't see any pigs just dogs so when i saw one of the dogs lying on the beach i went oh it's a pig and then no it wasn't it's what it wasn't don't know where the pigs are we have one hour and a half just to chill on this island we can rent kayaks which is what we're going to do right now we can swim we're going to use our mask and snorkels and it is just stunning the water is blue but also clear and it's warm and it's still oh it's just paradise the classic scenario of me in the front doing absolutely nothing <laughs> all the power's in the back thank you jeremy yeah thank you very very good work faster come on <laughs> <laughs> uh, i believe it <laughs> did you <laughs> It's not a bad life here, is it? The water is just stunning. And this is actually, I think the first time Jeremy and I have had actual sunbathing. So I'm hoping to get a bit of a tan now that we're on the islands. That would be really, really nice. Oh, but the, the warmth of the sun on your skin just feels absolutely glorious. We've got about 25 more minutes of chilling and then he said that we're going to walk to a viewpoint on the island and after we've done that we're going to have some lunch it's just such a nice day you know it's just a day full of lovely lovely things we found a pigs this is definitely a pig this is not a dog here's one here's another oh look at you big boy he's resting so nice what a nice sleep you're having who's pig pig wake up in the morning <laughs> oh. I think he's like, I'm just trying to relax. Now they just want to go kayaking. Apparently there used to be a lot more pigs on the island, but recently a bunch of them had to get shipped back to the mainland for some reason or other. All good reasons, I assume. I stand corrected. The reason there's not so many on the island now is because a bunch of them died of swine flu. That's sad, isn't it? And then um, there is one that survived, that sleepy pig we saw earlier. 
she's a survivor of the swine flu and then they brought about six pigs back to the island just so it can still be pig island and they can still roam free on the beautiful beaches in paradise no slightly sadder story as to why there's not so many pigs here now i think that that's the viewpoint just a guess so it's a 10 minute walk starting this way Viewpoint is uh, this way, just oh. 15 meters out Oh, okay. Viewpoint is not where I thought it was going to be, it's this way. Our guide is explaining how, unfortunately, this part of the island is very, very messy. And it gets very messy and it collects a lot of plastic and waste very, very quickly. And that's because very, very windy. All of this waste comes from the fishermen's boat. Vietnam is over there. It's a very different side of the island. It's sad, but it seems like they do ocean cleanups every once in a while but the shit just keeps on coming in and it's killing a lot of the coral which is very very sad now that is a beautiful view you're gonna jump good luck no we're about 20 meters up i reckon not even close to the edge yeah vietnam is over in the distance far in the distance so our lunch has arrived this entire spread is included in the tour we've got like two different types of curries we've got some fried chicken vegetables rice um, the alcohol was not included but i did get a very large glass of wine for 200 baht <laughs> You just took everything off my screen. <laughs> Our next spot is literally just the middle of the ocean and we're going snorkeling. We got on the menu. The RIP shot. No, thank you. I don't want the RIP shot. They have premium signature cocktails and premium classic cocktails, or just a gin fizz. Oh, I do like a gin fizz. Oh, this is hard. There's so much. Can I have a strawberry pina? Strawberry pina. Yes. One gin fizz. I am not entirely sure what a strawberry pina entails, but uh, <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to be nice. A strawberry peanut, which is one of Love D's premium signature cocktails. Oh, it's delicious. What's inside? Strawberry, coconut oil, rum, and coconut rum. Okay, nice. It is delicious. It's literally like a strawberry and coconut smoothie. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so just in case the first cocktails weren't enough, we have ordered <laughs> the Love D cooler bucket which looks like this. Buckets are famous in Thailand and this one looks freaking great. It is rum and lychee juice with fresh diced pineapple and watermelon served with a Lamborghini sparkling wine. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh. Very sweet. I wanted to say sweet. Oh, sweet. I was going to say strong. Strong and sweet. I still finishing this one as well. <laughs> Full holiday mode now. I did just lose 10-1 in this game, but I have demanded a rematch. So, Jan and I are going to try again. Small one, big one, for this side. Big one. Big one. The big one, where it gets slower. Ah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheat. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, don't go. No, 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 not so fast, my friend. Oh, my friend, you're not telling you. Oh, my friend. 
This is the uh, well needed. Daiquiri sparkles, rum, cranberry, you get to choose the juice, cranberry juice and sparkling wine. And this is on happy hour, so every day, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., you get a few of the cocktails, two for one. So that's two for 180 bucks. You know, at least it wasn't worse than last time, but it wasn't an improvement either. Absent. Oh no. Jagermeister. Oh no. And Red Bull. Oh, oh yeah, I like Red Bull. <laughs> Red Bull, Absinthe, and Jägermeister. Well, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. How do you how do you well, take them? 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 Oliver, I'd like a demonstration, personally. You take the, the Absinthe first. Yeah. The yeah. Jägermeister falls down, and then you just rinse it off with the mix. Uh, oh. This one first. Hey, and you want to fill it? Can we let this one fall? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Take it, Am I taking this one? Go out to the tray. Go. trait is that I buy things which I don't have room for in my backpack. So yesterday I went to a surf shop in Koh Samui and I bought these trousers which are Roxy. It was 20% off and they're kind of stretchy. I really like them. Yep, I'm gonna wear them tonight and I'm really pleased with my purchase. I don't have room for them in my backpack. I don't know how I'm gonna squeeze them in and I don't plan on dealing with that problem until it arises, until we leave this accommodation and I have to pack my backpack. Yep. I met you out on a Sunday and I thought that someday it'd be nice to take you out for food. Show you that there's company that can be worthy and that I So proud wearing false crowns. And you're supposed to just take it. No, she don't want. 